The Axis advance in North Africa didn't stop with their capture of Tobruk on the 21st of June, as they continued to march into Egypt, reaching the new British positions at Marsa Matrua, a port 250 miles east of Tobruk, on the 26th of June. Early the next morning, the German's 90th Light Division, which had helped push the guards out of Knightsbridge two weeks earlier, encountered the 9th Durham Light Infantry at point 174, 17 miles south of Marsa Matrua. 28-year-old Private Adam Wakenshaw, a former miner, factory worker, and laborer who had been rejected by the Army when he tried to enlist in 1930, but was accepted on the outbreak of war in September 1939, had already survived the fighting in France and had lost his seven-year-old son in 1941. He was crewing a two-pound anti-tank gun in advance of his main infantry position. The attack began, and a German vehicle towing a gun moved towards the British position. The two-pounder crew fired upon it and managed to knock out the vehicle's engine. This success didn't last, as another German gun was brought to bear on their position. Private Wagenshaw's left arm was blown off above the elbow, and the rest of the crew was killed or wounded. The Germans then moved forward to retrieve their disabled vehicle and gun. Private Wagenshaw and one other wounded crewman crawled back to their own gun. Private Wagenshaw, in spite of only having one arm, loaded and fired the weapon while the other man aimed it. They fired five rounds, causing further damage to the German gun and the vehicle towing it. This success didn't last either, as a German shell killed the aimer and blasted Private Wagenshaw off the gun. Although now alone and wounded further, he crawled back to his gun and loaded it, but another German shell hit the remaining ammunition, destroying the gun and killing him. Although his actions and the rest of that two-pounder crew held up the Germans for a short time and allowed his company to withdraw, Point 174 was quickly overrun and the 9th German Light Infantry was left in ruins. The Germans continued to advance to Marsa Matrua, and the next day the British, Indians, and New Zealanders began their withdrawal. The port was captured by Italian and German troops on the 29th of June, along with 6,000 prisoners. The battle for Marsa Matrua had lasted only three days. The German push and Allied retreat eastwards continued, but finally stopped at El Alamein in the first of two vital battles fought there in 1942 but more on those later.